Hey YouTubers, Grimmy here, and this is the video review for Transformers Fall of Cybertron Air Raid, or Fire Flight if you want to call them that. Um, it's a nice little repaint of Shockwave with a little bit of retooling, like on the chest piece here, and they gave him new weapons, um, which you'll see in the robot mode. Uh, but yeah. It's very Fireflight-esque, and Air Raid's more of a solid black. This one's uh, got more of a um, red in, like, white or brown or gray or something like that. Uh, whatever. Um, definitely an interesting looking jet mode. Um, not sure why they didn't go with Starscream and give that mold a um, new head instead of this one, but uh, whatever. It's not bad. Seems to work. I think. At least it looks like it's something that can fly. <laughs> But anyway, uh, let's do a quick comparison. Here's Shockwave, who this uh, mold was designed for, and there's Air Raid. And, uh, yeah. They look alright. I mean, I like Shockwave for this kind of mold better, but, um, eh, whatever. Anyway, enough about this. Uh, let's get him into um, robot mode and see how he looks there. Okay, now we have Air Raid in his robot mode. And, uh, yeah, he is looking alright. I mean, it's not a bad sculpt, not a bad figure. It's my least favorite of the bunch, but, um, you know, it's not bad. But he's definitely got an interesting look to him. Yeah, I believe Optimus, Op Optobotomus said, uh, he was very rewind looking. And bringing in all the Cybertron rewind. I guess you could say there's a bit of a resemblance here. And especially if I were to get um, G1 Eject, who was basically uh, just a blue rewind, there might be some resemblances between the two. Um, slight, but existing. Uh, but, yeah, in any case. This one's uh, Fire Air Raid, who looks like Fireflight as far as paint job goes. And ironically enough, uh, Takara's got a Fireflight that's looking like Air Raid. <laughs> With the same sculpt. Uh, yeah. I mean, my problem is, this is an aerial bot who does not combine with anything. So, we will not see Superion, which kind of makes me sad. But anyway. Um, you know, if you got Shockwave, you know what you're getting, as far as uh, articulation goes. You got a swivel at the head. Swivel at the shoulder in and out at the shoulder ball jointed elbow you also got this little hinge to add some posability and uh, hinges at the wrists you also got um, no waist um, ball jointed hips you 
hinge knees that go that far and you got hinges at the toes so he's poseable you know he's not bad one thing I forgot to mention on the vehicle mode the way the chest is sculpted that Autobot symbol in vehicle mode is upside down which kind of stinks but um, yeah and he has three accessories he has one sword he has another sword that folds up into a gun and he has another gun now this part this gun here is just like uh, the shockwave uh, blaster where you can just uh, snap it on and it's actually a part of his arm now you can also combine it with the um, big blade and have him have a sword arm or a gun arm which looks pretty cool but it's not easy to actually maneuver with that big blade at the bottom Now a sword just fits in its hand, his hand like this, you know, just a sword, you know, nothing real special, but it does split apart. So you got a little scissor there, or you can take the uh, gun piece here, This will plug, there's a peg hole right in there. Plugs in. And then you get a super sword. You can just pop in there. Put the little gun on. And, and now he's got his super sword. Yay! <laughs> yeah, that's actually a pretty cool looking weapon. I'll give it that. This part it looks pretty good. Um, but for a quick comparison, here's Air Raid with Shockwave. As you can see, the um, differences are in the head, the weapons, and the chest. Like Shockwave's got the uh, standard Shockwave uh, chest piece, while Air has got this new, um, unique chest piece. But the rest is the same, uh, right down to the toes. Only difference would be the paint job. I still like Shockwave better for this uh, mold, but he's all right. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to get for me to get into him though, and he's definitely kind of my uh, least favorite of the bunch. I mean, yeah. Which is unfortunate, but uh, that's just the way it is. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Feel free to comment, subscribe, um, do all that nice stuff, and um, I'll catch you another day. Take care, have fun, and bye-bye.